We're back in live over Capitol Hill. The future of TikTok in America hangs in the balance and the growing pressure from Congress. The U.S. House of Representatives passed legislation yesterday that says the social media app needs to cut ties from its owners, uh, the Chinese company ByteDance, or risk a total ban in the states. The bill now heads to the Senate. So we want to know, can TikTok really do what lawmakers are demanding? And what happens for users if it does not? Nicholas Thompson is the CEO of The Atlantic and former editor-in-chief of Wired. Principal impact would be on the app stores. So Apple and Google would not be able to distribute new versions of the app. They would not be able to maintain or update it. Eventually, the TikTok on your phone would turn into a brick. People would stop posting, and TikTok would kind of go away. That's what happened in India when they banned it. TikTok's turbulent journey took another twist today. A former Treasury Secretary says that he plans to bid to buy TikTok if U.S. lawmakers pass a bill forcing TikTok to sell. Laura Aguirre has the story. I'm going to put together a group to buy TikTok. You're trying to buy TikTok. I am. It's the latest twist in the TikTok tug of war on who should or will control the wildly popular social media app in the U.S. Former Treasury Secretary under Donald Trump Steven Mnuchin on CNBC Thursday unveiling his plan to make a bid, which could happen if a bill banning the Chinese-owned platform or forcing its sale in the U.S. makes it to President Joe Biden's desk. It passed the House with strong bipartisan support Wednesday. This is a huge lever to affect elections, to carry out a communist government's uh, nefarious plans. Bite dance ownership of TikTok is a threat to the security of the United States. The editor-in-chief of ByteDance is the secretary of the CCP cell embedded at the very highest levels of ByteDance to control all of its products, including TikTok. National security concerns are the most common thread joining both sides of the aisle. Still, there were a few dozen holdouts in the House. There are First Amendment implications at stake. We want to ensure that TikTok is in the ownership of either an American company or, an, or a country, a company in an allied country. Mnuchin hasn't yet revealed how he'd finance the deal or how much he'd offer. But even to get there, the bill to force a sale needs to pass here. We're going to uh, allow the process to unfold as it should in the Senate. I'm Laura Aguirre for CBS News, Philadelphia.